All right, next song up is Rhino Bucket, again with Beat to Death Like a Dog. This is also tuned flat, like the last one I just did. CBT Guitar Lesson for Art. I really like this song a lot. It's super cool. It's got some fun little riffs, some pull-offs. Fun fact. You know, Rhino Bucket, everyone will say, you know, they you can hear ACDC, but um, Simon Wright played drums with them for like over 10 years. That was ACDC's drummer, right? For a while, I think. All right, let's start the lesson. <laughs> break this down section 1a I'm combining two guitar players parts um, talked about this in your other CBT lesson um, because you can you can get away with it okay because you can either go you keep doing that or we can blend them and that's what I chose to do so you'll end up doing open a palm muted twice and then hit the power chord, open A and 2D, and then open A, palm mute once. Do that six times. Two, three, four, five, six. And then two open A strings, palm muted. 4D, pull open. This is blending the second guitar in with it. Open G. And then four, pull open D. Uh, so it's... Yeah. And an open 2 AD. Four times. Fourth time, no star. So the fourth time, you'll just go. And lead into section 1B, 25 seconds in, which is that pull off section. Open 2-2, two, two, A, D, G at the end. And you're going to do that twice. And then do it all again. So really, it's four times. Some of me pulls off. Some he picks. Not a big deal if you did either or. So um, then section 1C comes in at 38 seconds in. It's that riff again. And then you're going to go A, A, G, D, A. And these are your standard major chords. So we have... When you do the G, it's the rock G. Three mute, open, open, three, three. There's your D major, two, three, two, open. So, and then an A major, then an open A, and repeat it, it's four times. Then, 52 seconds in, it's just the pull-off riff. Then section 1D comes in, 53 seconds in. You hit the power chord to get it going, and then you start the, like, the section 1 part. Six times, just like before. That'll go through twice. So you'd be like... And open to D and G, but it's the same thing. That's a little different. Palm use D, open D twice after the six times. Four, pull, open G. Or on the D. Three B, that's the only difference. And then four, pull, open D. So. Right back to the A, A section of it. And then you 
it'll go. Open three on the A, bend a half step, pull off open. Drum a D, two, three, two. Do an A, two, two, two. D, G, and B. Seven, nine, nine, nine. So that's from the A to the B, it's an E major. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G. Two, three, four, D. So when you strum the D, and then go two, three, three, and then two, three, two twice, and then a three B, you're already there, and then the D chord again. So it's, and there you have it. So from the E major, and there you go, top of page three, A, A, G, D, A. That's actually the same as uh, another section we did, it's just a reversed order I think, so. Okay, so four times of that, then you have some repeats, and two minutes, 28 seconds in, you hit section 2B, um, G, G, rest, G, rest, it'll go, and then two D chords, so, well, actually no, that, that's going to go four times, if I'm not mistaken, 228, here it is. Let's check it. Yeah, it's like... And then two Ds. Done with that section. 235, A, A, G, D. Four times. Um, I want to go to that really quick. That's 235, right here. Yeah, so it's, so it's quicker. I was thinking that D rang longer, but it does on all the other ones because he throws in that, right? So now it's just a complete repeat of those three major chords. Um, Gasolo comes in at 2.42, and I'm just going to kind of run through this slow to moderate tempo. You're going to go 7 hammer 9 D, vibrato, pick, and then 7 G B to 9 D, 9 G B, let's bar that with the third finger, back it with these two guys, bend, hold, release, pull to 7s. Then 9s, pull 7s, and then 9s, bend. Easier said than done, huh? These types of things tend to give students trouble. The string will pop out, you know, stuff like that. Push into the neck. 244, seven E and B, twice. And then tens on G and B, nines, sevens, and nine D vibrato. So it's, then, and on the sevens the second time. Very cool. And then 9G slide 11, 10B. And then up down, 10, 10 on the B. With a pinch if you can, but that's hard to do. And then 10, 12 on the B, down, up, up, down. 12, 10, B, E, down, up and then up down. So you have this. And then up down, up on the 10. Or 10, 10, 12. So it'd be, or the 12's at the end there, so. And then up down on it vibrato. 252 timestamp, 10 E. 12, I like this riff. 12, hammer 14, pull 12, pull 10. And then, uh, 
12 pull 10, 12 B, and then do it again. So it's second time you do the top of page four, you'll see a 12 pull off on the 10 and the B twice on the B, and then 11 10 G B. Or, 12 10 pull B and then 12 vibrato. Once again. Probably my favorite riff there. And the. 255 10 B bend and then go. Let me have. Or, then we go. Wait. Yep, and then back to this. It's cool. 301 timestamp. slower then go so you have this little chromatic descending thing then we have this at 14 G one more time and one more time slower and that's it for the solo. Then you got open A palm mute twice, A power chord, open A palm mute once, do that 30 times. I don't expect you to count it. Look for a vocal cue, or you'll probably know if you've heard this song a bunch of times, but that's the... And then... No pull-offs, he picks them all this time. So or, A power chord three times. And then you go five, six, seven, A. Open E and B, eight count, G, four type count, D, and then And then uh, 351, section 2A, four times. 2A is the... There you go. Two-pack of Rhino Bucket. Thanks, Art.